Welcome back to my little corner of the universe. I'm Warren Keller, and I'm glad you stopped by. I hope you enjoyed and benefited from the Soup to Nuts series, which covers, among other topics, pre-processing theory. I also hope the IP for AP SuperDisc has been part of your journey towards image processing mastery. Coming soon is the new subscription model of IP for AP with continually updated content. Also, view our quick tips and our early full-length tutorials. Though production values were just adequate, they contain very useful information. Visit IP4AP's YouTube page and Facebook page. Lastly, stand by for Improving Your Astro Images with Photoshop, a Springer publication due in 2013 by Photoshop programmer Alan Erickson and myself. Each is a piece of the processing puzzle, and this series assumes you've already begun assembling that puzzle. This time out, we board a new vehicle called Pixinsight, for which there is tremendous interest. Pixinsight is the brainchild of Juan Conallero of Pleiades Astrophoto. Juan is a software developer from Valencia, Spain, and has led Vicente Paris and the rest of the mostly European P team since 2004. For this mission, I benefit from collaboration. Harry Page, Steve Leshen, and Dave Raffel lent much of their knowledge to this series. Harry was the first to document PI, and his free tutorials helped all of us get started. Dave wrote several modules for Pixie, and Steve was one of the first Photoshop-based APOD imagers to make the switch to PI. All are involved in Pixinsight's active community where users become collaborators and I thank other forum members for their help as well. As we saw in Soup to Nuts, there are many pre-processing programs and all have some degree of post-processing capabilities. And then there is the very powerful Photoshop which has been the de facto standard for post-processing. So where does Pixinsight fit in? Pixinsight is a work in progress. If you're new to image processing, it is already a very viable and much less expensive alternative to Photoshop. And new or improved modules are being added all the time eliminating the need for third-party plugins as with Photoshop. Because it was specifically designed for astrophotography, it has definite advantages over Adobe CS, but may lack a bit of Photoshop's finesse in a few areas. We can see a time, however, in the near future when it will surpass Photoshop for astro image processing. Pixinsight is a tool Photoshop is a tool. Neither is the only way, and a combination of the two or others may be right for you. If you have years of experience in Photoshop, abandoning it for an all pics and sight track isn't necessary. I continue to tweak with Photoshop, but as much as 50 to 75 percent of my imaging tasks are now performed with pics and sight. Here, in Juan's own words, are some key reasons to consider Pixinsight as part of your processing arsenal.
for those of you not interested in Photoshop, we beg your indulgence for edification especially for those who have been with us for a while, we'll be making comparisons of its features to those of PixInsight. And finally, for those of you familiar with our method of teaching workflow based on the alliterative five S's, some of this series, when appropriate, may also be structured under the headings Stack, Stretch, Smooth, Sharpen, Saturate, and select. I've saved the best for last. My co-creator for this series is none other than Rogelio Bernal Andreo, a fellow APOD imager and a recipient of AIC's Pleiades Award. Rogelio is one of PixInsight's foremost experts and has documented it in his own text-based tutorials. We believe we're the right team to bring the much needed context and chronology to the mix, the what to do and when to do it. Sit back and relax or interact with the movies pausing while trying new concepts on your images or the files provided for you on the disk. This PixInsight series was recorded in Camtasia Studio. Be sure to try all the special features by clicking on the icons at the bottom of the player. Enjoy and thanks again for your support. Look for future tutorials from IP4AP and our value dealers. If you agree that our tutorials are worth telling a friend about, tell a friend about them.